linked open datasets offer a vast amount of knowledge for machines and humans. For example, Wikidata. It is a general knowledge base with millions of items in machine-readable format. These items serve as training data for machine learning algorithms. Humans can also read Wikidata. We understand what items denote thanks to literals, textual descriptions in natural language. When it comes to describing culturally sensitive items about historically marginalized people or different cultural attributes, which words are used then? Are they always appropriate, respectful, and free of stereotypes? Wikidata, for example, recommends to avoid biased terms. But is this recommendation followed in practice? We investigated how English and Dutch contentious terms about people and cultures occur in widely used datasets. We took such terms from a glossary, written by experts from the cultural sector. They compiled a list of terms with colonial connotations, racialized terms, and other historical terms which are not appropriate in modern contexts. We found that such terms are still being used in datasets. Apart from Wikidata, we found contentious terms in lexical databases, English and Dutch wordnets, that are a foundation of online dictionaries. We also analyzed the art and architecture thesaurus from the Getty Institute. It is popular in the cultural heritage domain. We gathered statistics about the usage of contentious terms, how many times they occur, and what types of literals. It could be the names of items, such as preferred labels or longer descriptions. Another step was to check whether contentious terms had any markers indicating their contentiousness, and if so, which forms these markers take, in which parts of datasets they appear, and whether they are machine-readable. Our results show that contentious terms are used on a large scale in the datasets we inspected. These words may appear offensive to users and propagate stereotypes to algorithms. We also noticed some attempts by data contributors to mark contentious terminology, but our insights call for more systematic approaches to prevent the propagation of stereotypes via linked open data.